And we begin with a rescue off Plum Island. Three swimmers pulled from the water. The harbor master tells us that they were swimming off a sandbar at the time this happened. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live for us on Plum Island tonight with the breaking details on this rescue. Ken. David and Lisa, we're on the north side of Plum Island. This is a very popular stretch of beach. You can see that the fishermen now are beginning to take over from the swimmers. As I step out of the way here, we're going to zoom in a little bit. You can see a jetty on the far side of the water. That's where the Merrimack River empties out into the ocean. And if you move along right on that jetty, it ends in a sandbar. David, as you mentioned, that was the trouble spot this afternoon. It's a notorious spot for rip currents. We're going to show you some video we shot from Scott. Eye about 90 minutes ago. This began with 911 calls just before 3.30 this afternoon from beachgoers concerned about a trio of swimmers who appeared to be in trouble. They'd been swimming out beyond that sandbar here on the north end of Plum Island, an area where you're not supposed to be, quite frankly, because of the strong currents of the Merrimack River and also the outgoing tide that tends to suck swimmers out to sea. But the response of rescuers was quick. The Newburyport Harbor Master plucked two struggling swimmers from the water and the Coast Guard grabbed one as well. We're told all three are adults and they were brought to where I am now, the 82nd Street Dock, for a medical evaluation. We were initially told their injuries were minor, perhaps exhaustion and inhaling some water, but at least one was put on a stretcher and loaded into an ambulance for a checkup at the hospital ER. As we come back live now, these beaches here are normally staffed with lifeguards on any other summer. However, COVID-19 means they decided not to put lifeguards out here on the beach because of the risks it would pose to them and also anybody they came in contact with. I only mention that as a matter of fact. We have no idea at this point if that played any role in today's events. Again, all three of those swimmers, we are told, are going to be okay. Live from Plum Island tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken.